you, Freddy? How you doing? <laughs> cheers, cheers. Going to do another review right here. Right here, live on the Jake and Dar broadcast on Saturday nights. And tonight's beer, well, I decided to do the Rare Bird Red Ale. Right from Nova Scotia, right here in Gars Guysboro, Nova Scotia. Handcrafted in small batches by hard-working hands in the Nova Scotia village, where maritime brewing began in 1659. Rare bird, rare bird craft beers stay true to the consistent value of good taste over time. It's 5% alcohol by volume, 500 ml bottle, and it's brewed with the purest spring water, no preservatives. And I'm not going to read that long one on the other side because I read that one in the last review. The last rare bird review. Let's open this up. Oh boy. Wouldn't mind making it up to the brewery someday, but it is rather a long trip from Dartmouth. Yeah, let's pour this into a glass. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's better than pouring it on the desk. All right, all right. Let's see how red she is. Well, at least it's not over carbonated like my homemade beer. Got a little over over on the over carbonated side. Okay, nice. Not bad. I don't think there's any chill haze, but it's got some red in there. Yeah, it's definitely got some red in there. Um Reddish, yep. It's got uh, a little bit of that reddish, coppery medium. I think I've seen other red ales that were just a, just a tinge darker. Uh, didn't get a lot of a head on that one, but half a finger. Just barely a cap, maybe a little bit bigger than a cap. I don't know. Give it a sniff. Sure, I'll sniff it. Mmm, it does smell clean, and it does smell wet. <laughs> Sweet. I'm picking up just a, a hint of sweet in the aroma. Not much in the way of malts or hops. There is a fruit there that I'm smelling. I, I can smell some kind of fruit, but I'm not sure what it is. Maybe... I'm not sure if it's like, almost like a, like a raspberry or apricot or something along the lines of some fruit. Some fruit. Anyways. It's got a bit of a sweet fruity aroma. Cheers, 17. Well, that's different. Mm. That's definitely different. All right, okay, hold on. Mmm. It's... It's got a tiny little bit of a Belgian thing going on there. There's a biscuity. We're back to the biscuit on this one. Yeah, somebody threw a bone in this one. <laughs> Just kidding. But it does have like a, there's a bit of a biscuity uh, flavor in there. And yeah. And sort of a, almost like a, like a, like a Belgian thing going on. Is it a Belgian? I think, I'm thinking Belgian. I'm not sure what yeast they use. Maybe it's the yeast that they use to, to but it's kind of a, yeah. I mean, it's definitely a lot different than, say, the red ale I had from Boxing Rock. It's a lot different from that one. It's a little bit lighter. It's a little bit thinner, lighter bodied. It's got uh, a lot less hop, uh, hop uh, profile in it than the uh, than that one I just quoted. But yeah, it's uh, a. The main thing in this beer is it's got like a biscuity flavor to it. It's slightly sweet, sort of a little syrupy on the mouth. And it does have a bitterness, but I can't really pinpoint the exact bitterness. It's it's different. It's definitely different, but uh, I'm not say, <clears throat> I'm not sure that it's really my type of thing. It's as far as uh, red ale is concerned. It this is kind of sending me off in a dire different direction with this one. Um, it's, it's definitely not bad. As I'm saying, it's not really. Uh, it's not exactly the direction that I'm happy to go in. 
Um, I'm not saying it's a bad beer. It's not bad at all. Um, it's just sort of a kind of a red ale that takes more of an acquired taste, I suppose, per se, per se. Um, I think I would only go I mean, you can definitely taste it and tell that it's craft. It's craft made. I mean, it's tastes it tastes in that you know with that aspect. But I'm not thinking that it's really great. So I'm only gonna go about a three and a, a three and a half out of five is uh, is is basically where I'm going at. But everybody's different, you know. Everybody's different. Other people might try this out and say this is awesome. Um, but for me, it's just kind of. Uh, you know, a little bit above okay, you know, I'd recommend trying it for sure, but that's just being honest. Cheers. 17, keep your mugs full.